Hey everybody, David Henry here from Learn Stage Lighting, and in this video, I want to continue the series that we have here on the basics of Onyx, and we're going to be talking about effects dealing with pan and tilt. So movement effects, how do they work in Onyx, and how is it different from kind of the regular effects that work with other parameters? And the, uh, the shocker, or the first disclaimer here is, they're not that different, but they're a little bit different. So let's dive in. I'm going to select in my 2D plan here, the Artistic Da Vinci's. Pop them up here. Go to Pan Tilt, just like any other parameter. We're going to go to the parameter first, the base, and then click to Effects. And now we see something that's a little bit different. We see Swing Pan and Swing Tilt. Because in Onyx, Pan and Tilt work together by default. Now, most of the time, this is handy, and this is exactly what you want, and it helps you build movement effects very quickly. But if you don't like it, press the cog in the upper corner here, pan tilt combo, take that and turn it off, and you can work with it just like any other parameter. But I'm gonna turn that on because I want them to work together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and actually go to my first bank again, and go to spots and bring up my intensity so I can see them. Perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead, set in a swing pan, We'll set that at just about 25. Do a tilt. Let's do that to 100% for a really tilt focused kind of movement effect. Set a speed. Awesome. And then we get to set a figure. And there's, there's going to be actually a few things here that we're going to have to work with. We can see it happening in the visualizer. We can see it happening in the 2D plan. But there's a couple things that we're going to work with here. So we can go ahead with this figure and uh, say we turn it to a circle here, kind of an oval shape we can now see how that actually changes the way it, it references the pan and tilt to each other. It's represented graphically here because you see here with just this line, it just kind of does the same thing back and forth over and over again, the, the pan and tilt together. But as we go to different shapes, we can see different things. For example, if I go down here to one of these ones like this pretzel shaped one, we get all sort of different shapes here. So I'm going to stick on this one for a minute and then click to the second page. Now here we've got the mode. Okay, so we still have a mode with pan and tilt effects. And what this means is there's a couple things we can do. Namely, we can go ahead, we can turn it backwards. We can invert only pan. We can invert only tilt. Um, and we can do that in either direction. There's also a multiplier here. If you would need to multiply some effects to twice the speed, and there's a rotate. So with any of these, especially mode and rotate, this can be really handy if you grab, say, half your fixtures. Let's do it quick, actually. Go to the grouping tools, grab every other, and then go here and just do the uh, pan invert on every other. And so now half of them are doing the opposite with pan as the other half. Then I could go ahead and I could select all of them again. Just go to my grouping tools here and turn them back off. And then I can go back to the regular effects and, you know, I could change the, the tilt swing. I could, you know, make it much smaller. I could make it much bigger. I could change the overall speed, etc. Perfect. So once we kind of get something we like there, we can go to effects timing. Again, set a wave or step. So this time I'm going to do, I'm going to do six or seven. Because I like to choose when I'm building an effect here. I like to really choose something that a lot of the times it looks kind of asymmetrical and kind of crazy. And when you choose a number that doesn't divide into the total fixtures, you get that inside of Onyx. So I got an effect that I like. Cool. And I'm going to record it. So just go here, bring up our command keypad, press record, give it a place, give it a name. We'll call it uh, movement effects, press enter, and we're good to go. So it really is that simple to make movement effects inside of Onyx. And it's a little bit different from the other effects, but I think you find as you work with it, you'll learn more. Now, if you do want more resources, if you want to learn more about building effects in Onyx, take a little bit of a deeper dive, uh, learn a little bit more about the grouping tools and some stuff like that, I've got some bonus resources that I want to send you. So follow the link that uh, should be on the screen right now. It'll also be below. And you can sign up there, enter your email, and I will email you these free resources to be able to go deep into the effects in Onyx, to be able to work with everything in there and build some really cool stuff. So 
be sure you get that. Jump on our Learn Stage Lighting email list. I'll be sending you that. Of course, you can unsubscribe anytime, and we'll be talking to you a little bit more about Learn Stage Lighting Labs as well. With that, guys, that's kind of the end of the series here. I'm sure I'm going to be adding some more stuff soon. I know I will about the M Touch M Play and some of the other hardware options and some other cool tips and tricks on what to do in Onyx. So stay tuned here on YouTube as well. Thanks.